Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to create Elastic File System in AWS and how to use the Elastic File System on Amazon EC2 use cases. So generally what is Amazon Elastic File System? So we call it as EFS in AWS and Elastic File System is a serverless fully elastic file storage and we can create and configure shared file systems simply and quickly for AWS compute services like EC2 instances without no provisioning, no deploying, no patching or no maintenance required. So we can eliminate capacity planning with fully elastic storage and performance with this EFS. So we can pay only for the storage you use and reduce cost up to some percent of by automatically moving infrequently accessed files. So let's get back to the console and we can create the elastic file system in AWS and we can create one EC2 in one availability zone that is called public subnet and one EC2 in, in different availability zone and it is in private subnet. So we'll connect these two instances to the Elastic file system and we'll create some files in the uh, EFS to connecting with the EC2 instance first time and we'll see whatever the files are created in the first instance so we can have some idea about that. So let's get back to the console and achieve this. So first of all, go to Amazon EFS. So this is EFS console. So go to file systems and create your file system. So I'll name it as EFS demo file system. And I have my own VPC, default VPC. And I'll go with the standard redundant across multiple availability zones. So if you want to specify only single availability zone, you need to mention whatever the availability zone you want. And I will go for standard. So you can customize also. Post creation of file system also you can customize. And I'll go for create. So if you see here, my file system has been creating. So it will take some time to create. So to, to reduce the time, I will create two EC2 instances. So launch one EC2 instance. So first is EFS1. I'll go for the t2.micro and the key pair is test key pair. And I'll choose for public subnet one year availability zone for one instance. I'll enable public IP and select existing group. I have my own security group. It is allowed for all and GP3 for customization, cost optimization for root volumes. And that's it launch EC2 instance and let me launch one more EC2 instance for EFS2 in availability different availability zone so this is a test key pair the same key pair and I'll go for private subnet 1b and enable public IP should be disabled so I don't want any public IP and select existing security group launch user and GP3 that's it launch instance so let me go back to the EFS. So if you see here, view my file system it has been created. So you can customize also this. Let me check the network. So it has been created with EMI interface ID something something. So edit the settings. I don't want enable automatic backups. So I don't want to give this option. So I recommend you to uh, of this option. Uh, so you want to transition into one year. So like. Uh, suppose if you have created EFS in uh, redundant zone and uh, different availability zone, suppose your manager asks you to create in transition to one year, so you want to move into one availability zone after the creation, so you can access this console into transitioning to one availability zone or infrequent access or whatever you have standard infrequent access to standard or you can standard to standard infrequent access you can transition. So I'll keep it as none. So I don't want any. So throughput mode is bursting and enhanced. So you have two options here. You can choose any other. So save changes. And let me go to the network settings and click on manage. So if you see here, my security groups are attached and I'll go for the security group. So in the security group, it should be uh, available and the NFS port should be open to all or your VPC range you can open. So I have opened for AP1 South 1A and 1B availability zones for the security groups which I have mentioned for the EC2 instances also. 
so if you see here in the subnet uh, public subnet so i have 172.31.36 series and the private series 172.31.10.48 series so click on save this is my own vpc so you cannot change the vpc when you are created so that's it so you can have this mount commands so to attach the ec2 instance so let's get back to the ec2 instances efs1 so this is my public ip let me log into my ec2 instance let me change the settings also to the font so if you see here sorry. if you see here my i have file system as root xfs file system and 8.0 gb of size and it is used of 1.6 gb and i have available of 6.5 gb and you can see here is 20 percent and it is mounted on slash so you cannot see any nfs drives or any some other drives allocated or mounted into this file system so let me mount my efs file system to here so before that i need to create one drive or uh, folder to mount the efs drive so i'll create slash efs in root so ls so there is no folders here in my present working directory so i am in the slash root so i have created in the slash efs so if you go to cd slash and ls so you can find this slash efs here so this is where i have created a folder so let me go back to the efs console and copy this command so this is the efs command so i have slash efs i have created a efs folder under slash so default it will be showing as efs to where should it should be mounted so i have given slash efs so whenever you hit enter it should mount the file system to your ec2 instance so let me check that whether it is mounted or not so if you see here df5 nht so it has been this utility has been shown that slash efs mount point has been mounted on slash efs to this mount point file system so it has been typed as nfs4 file system and it is saying that 8.0 exabytes so use this 0 8.0 exabytes is available so let me go to efs folder and check this there is no files so let me create some files touch tarun so verify that vi tarun so let me write some contents hi this is tarun this is efs demo on ec2 instances if you see here the cat file uh, we are on so you can see the my file so i have created in this this name hyphen i so you can see here my ip address 172.31.37.52 so i have created and attached a file system to my efs1 ec2 instance so let me go back to the efs2 and check that and mount the efs to the efs2 instance so to verify whether my file has been copied into the server or not so for this i need to go back to cd dot dot cd so i want to give a ls so there is no files i want to copy my uh, pem files to log into that uh, private server so let me copy the pem file so this is my test key pair so copy i have copied my pem file to here so with this pem file i will be able to log in from my public server to private server so copy my public ip so if you if you don't have any commands you can go to hit connect 
and change the permission of the file here test.pm sorry I have given the test pm let me check okay the same command I have given the name and we need to copy ssh the command also so it is a command you can able to log in to your private server from with the test dot pem file so it is a uh, key based authentication this is a one of the con uh, authentication you can log into your server from different server so let me check df and ht so if you see here this is my 37.52 is my public ip server and this is my 1.230 is a private server ip so if you see here here in the console so this efs2 instance is 1.230 server ip so let me mount that efs drive to here and check that whether the file is copied to it, the efs ec2 efs2 instance or not so before that i want to create a folder mkdir slash efs because i want to mount the path to that folder so mkdir slash efs it has been created and copy this command so give slash efs it has been mounted so if you verify this dff and ht file system has been mounted to efs slash efs and the file system type is nfs4 so go to cd slash efs so if you see here ls tarun sorry so cat tarun the file has been appeared and the content has also been appeared so this this you can verify that your file has been uh, shared by some other file system so you can mount the file system to your EC2 instance and you can access those files so this is the temporary mounting so uh, let me show you how to do the permanent mounting of file system so df ht so cd dotted u mount slash efs so it has been unmounted so the efs has been gone so let me go to slash etc fs tab so here i can uh, copy paste the file system this path into here and you can where the mount mount path it has been mounted so you need to give the folder slash efs and it is nfs4 so this is nfs4 utility so no you need to worry about the NFS4 utility. It will be default automatically installed in the your Amazon Linux to operating systems. And you need to give defaults and zero is for disk dumping. And the other for zero is for to operate your uh, operating system. And save the file. So chat etc. So if you see here, the file system has been given the path and nfs4 client and defaults 00, zero. so if you see here whenever i hit df hyphen std discretility so it has been not mounted so whenever i had mount hyphen a it will be shown as it has been mounted permanent so before that mount hyphen a it is not showing the efs tab so i have given the entry in the fs tab so with this fs tab entry if you hit mount a it will mount whatever the entries in the fs tab it will be mounted to your slash efs or whatever you have given in the folder name here so it has been mounted to slash efs you can see here in the nfs4 file system so this is where you can do permanent mounting of your file systems and everything so that's it guys thanks for watching my video please do like share and subscribe for more videos let me know if you have any queries please post in the comment box thank you